Hi pretty people, so today I had decided to create a exclusive Tanya Louise products video of course, except the brushes and the lashes and the lash glue are not hers, but everything else is. So I am pretty impressed with how this turned out. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how this is done, please keep watching. So I'm starting off as always with last tape on the face because that is how I like doing things, I guess. So I'm putting a like a drop of her organic, uh, her certified organic argan oil. little bit on each eyelid and then then I'm going to powder it down with the mineral foundation in shade 10 just like all of my videos I am going to only put the powder in the top part so it's easier to blend other colors later I'm actually going to be taking the brow gel this is this has hover oil in it I think that's how you pronounce it I know in the um, trade show video I actually I pronounced it wrong I watch it back and I'm like oh I'm gonna be using it one of her shimmer dust. I'm now taking my darker foundation. This is 14.5. I'm actually going to be taking that through the crease. fluffy brush to blend that. This is her eyeliner that she's that I've used in um, previous videos and I'm going to be doing my eyeliner just before my tape sweats off because it's so humid in here. I'm just going to do a fairly small wing. I really like this eyeliner. I actually have been using it in my normal kit as of late. So the eye is super soft. It's got a little bit of shimmer, shimmer to it. I thought I'd show this. This is not an official one. But this is a sample. This is a highlight and people know, that know me know that I'm all about a highlight so I'm actually going to put a little bit of this just using my finger in the very center of the eyelid except I'm now going to go back and just go in a little bit more eyeliner over the top now for foundation I'm actually going to be using my, the Argan Oil as the primer. One drop here, one drop here, one drop here, one drop here. You need to uh, use so sparingly, it's ridiculous. Like, those four drops covered my entire face. Now I'm going to be grabbing the Mineral Powder in 10. So this is the lighter shade. And I'm going to be taking some of the Damascus Rose Water. And this was in my Adelaide Hair and Makeup Trade Show haul. And so I'm just going to be grabbing a brush. Spraying it on, spraying the rose water on. And then dipping the brush into the lid to turn um, the foundation the, the mineral foundation into a liquid. A 
and because, as you can see, that came out ghostly white, because I have tanned recently, I am going to be going in with 14.5 and doing the same thing, and that will just, because clearly now 10 is way too pale for me, and 14.5 is actually way too dark for me. That, this is more my tanning shade, so I'm kind of going to mix the two. Warms up the <laughs> that is much warmer, and I like that. So it's kind of the two shades. So it's kind of ten and fourteen point five mixed together, and it just makes it look a lot healthier. I'm now going in with the brow gel, just waiting for that to dry. Before I finish, the thing about this mineral foundation is that it dry, it goes on um, a liquid, but it dries to a powder. So if you're concerned about oily skin, I've got really oily skin, and even though I've actually used an argan oil as my primer, this has the softest feeling in the complexion. I love this stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be going back with the brow gel. Now I've had my brows shaped nicely, so this is a lot easier for me to do. So usually I go for a strong brow, but today I have decided just to go for, um, you know, a nice soft brow. This kind of matches the roots I don't really want. <laughs> um, yeah, I've gone for a soft brow because it's more, it's soft and, um, soft and bridal rather than my usual sort of glamour look. I'm now taking my dark foundation. And I'm actually going to be using it as a contour while we're on the subject of soft and bridal, but not glamour. I'm sorry, but I will be using a contour because I feel so wrong with that one. It's just going to be a very soft. Now you see me use the blush a number of times, this is the Sugar Plum Blush. And now I'm going to be going back and using that highlight. I'm now going to be putting a hint of a shimmer colour underneath my eyes. And I'm using the mascara, which I've used plenty of times throughout my videos. I originally wasn't going to, but I'm actually going to take this eyeliner on waterline. Just be wary if you've got sensitive eyes, but I really like um, that extra colour on the waterline. Okay, so I have added lashes and I am going to be using one of her lipsticks, and this is in the colour blush. Comes up very orangey on camera actually because of the lighting that I've got, but the lighting is fine. 
So that, pretty people, is my pretty soft bridal look using exclusively Tanya Louise products except of course the brushes and the lashes and the lash glue but everything else is by Tanya Louise so I hope you like it I will add her website down in the description box um, please comment like subscribe all that good stuff comment what you think of it in the syllabub can you tell I've been watching Johnny Pickett's videos um, but yeah this is my yeah, so this is my soft bridal look. I hope you enjoy it. Please have a wonderful day and stay classy, kids.